Hello and welcome back. This is video number six. In this video, we are going to be getting our alternator motor conversion here. We're going to get it running. But first, we're going to test out our electronics, make sure it's right. Now, if you didn't catch the video to where I had made the goof up on the schematic and wired it all wrong, um, if you didn't catch that, that is what I was calling part 4.1. So if you haven't caught that one, go back and look it up real quick. So what we are going to do first is we're going to test out our electronics, make sure everything's right before we go hooking the motor up or hooking our big battery up to it and everything like that or before powering our Arduino up we're going to test it all out and make sure everything is in good shape so for this here you're going to need a meter of some kind I have this nice fluke one here um, you don't need something like that just a typical meter oh gosh I have tons of these things here's another one that I have just whatever you have will work cheapo ten dollar one from walmart works just fine for this here so what we're going to do is we're going to check it for voltage now my power supply is on and the first thing i'm going to check is i'm going to check my voltage coming out of the power supply now this should be 12 volts 12.1 excellent now the next thing we're going to check is make sure our relay is connected right. Now you should have a wire that goes straight from 12 volts to the relay. So let's go back to our little schematic here. We're going straight from 12 volts into the relay. What we're going to do is make sure our relay is connected right and clicks on and off and that should turn the LED on and that will show that that is working proper. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna disconnect our connection between the relay and the transistor, and we're gonna connect this straight to a ground point. So the negative side of my 12 volts here. So here's my wire for that and I'm going to ground it and we should see here the L the we should hear the relay click and the LED come on so here we go there we go hey that's working great now be sure you get it hooked back up to the transistor right where it started from and be sure and check kind of double check make sure you have your transistor turned around the right direction if you have it backwards you could potentially fry it um, another thing I'd found is make sure your diodes turn around the right way. So in other words, where your 12 volt comes in into the relay, the um, gray band on the diode should be on this 12 volt side, not the other side. Because if it's the other way, well you have just a straight circuit around your relay and that's probably going to cause some issues. So you want that the gray band on the diode on your 12 volt side. Now the next thing we're going to check is we're going to be checking to make sure our transistor is right. Now for this here we're going to power up the Arduino. Here we go. And then all you have to do is just turn your potentiometer on. And it should. There it goes. Now, if you don't like the direction your potentiometer turns, I mine turns counterclockwise. If yours is the same way or you want it the other way, it doesn't matter. Um, your positive and negative on the potentiometer, just switch them two wires and it will turn the other way. So we are good there. So now the next test we're going to do is we're going to test the output to our field coil so that's right here on my breadboard so I'm gonna take my tester and we'll connect it up here and turn it on I should get 12 volts there we go 12 volts excellent all right we are good to go 
Now, connecting this thing up. Connecting this thing up. All we have to do is connect our field coil. Now it doesn't matter which side of the field coil is positive or negative. It does not matter. So, it's the nice thing about these little screw terminals on the breadboard. It's connections like this to larger wires. It's really easy. There we go. Now, if I'm going to unplug my Arduino. All right. Now, our next connection is the speed control. Now, this here, it doesn't matter which way you plug them in. With an airplane speed control like this one here, you do not have a reverse in it. So if your motor is spinning in the wrong direction for you, just pick any two of these wires and switch them. It doesn't matter which two, just pick two and switch them and that will reverse the motor. So, this should be everything. Now I have my battery. Now you could be running two car batteries, just whatever you want to use, two motorcycle batteries, two car batteries, use a um, lithium battery like this, but as long as it's 12 volts. So I'm going to connect that up. And if you hear a spark when you plug that up, that is just fine. That's the instant rush of current into the capacitors on the speed control. That is perfectly fine. Now then, Time for the big reveal. Arduino is plugged in. Make sure no connections are touching or anything like that. Double check everything. And here we go. <laughs> We're running. Excellent. This makes me happy. The uh, speed control on this works quite well. Now your motor will vary on how fast it spins. Um, it just depends on how it's wired inside. We'll figure out what that is here in the next video or two. We'll sh I'll show you how to figure out what's called the KV of a brushless motor. So brushless motors all have a rating of a KV. That's not kilovolts. That is how many RPMs the motor will spin per volt. Now it's with no load on it. So this motor right here is a 750 kV. So that means at one volt, this motor will spin at 750 RPMs. So at 24 volts, well, that's 24 times 750. And that's how many unloaded RPMs that will spin. Now just kind of feel around on things. Make sure nothing's getting warm. My speed controller is just so slightly, so slightly, not much. Motor's good shape. I'm actually very happy with how well this is working. Very happy. I'm impressed. <laughs> All right. So when you're done running it, be sure and always disconnect everything. I've had these speed controllers just setting idle, not running anything. I've had um, actually what's called the BEC in them, which is the battery elimination circuit. That's the five volts you get from this red wire in here, the center wire that we're not using. I've had that side of a speed control actually burn out and quit working. So when you're done running one, you just wanna unhook everything. So, we have a fully running motor, and hopefully you've got one also. Uh, if you have any questions, ask away. Um, 
send in your questions. If you have questions, send them to me. I plan on doing like a question and answer video if I get enough questions or I will think up some stuff that I think you may have some questions on when I do that video. So the next video, mm, not too sure what we're going to do with it. I think it may go in the just figuring out how much power this thing is capable of. Um, I will test it clear up to this is an 80 amp ESC. I'll see what it can do at pulling around 70 ish and just make sure nothing gets hot and just see see what we can do with one of these. I think it'd be a fun little experiment. So um, until next time to the next video just keep on making stuff keep on experimenting and I guess I'll see you next time see ya